And now I would like to say a few words in English. The reading of today's gospel. We heard the story. So after telling the story or parable, I would like to say, Jesus explained exactly what he meant by it. The sower represents the clergymen and teachers who go out preaching the teaching, the word of God. The seeds represent the teaching of Christ contained in God's word. The different soil of the parable represent the different people who respond to the teaching of religion they hear. Jesus divided the people who listen to God's word and teaching into four groups, just like the four soils that received the seed from the hand of the soul. So number one, what did we hear? Some people, though they may be in church where Christ's teachings are read and explained, pay no attention to what is being said. They simply do not hear it. They are like hard soil of the pathway where no seed could take root, root and where the birds came and quickly eat the seeds. So nothing will grow. Number two, others do listen to the various voices of the church as the words of Christ are presented in the church, so we hear. But they, some of us, quickly forget what we hear. The common expression in one ear and out the other. This expression might well be applied to such people. So they represent the rocky ground which did not provide enough soil for the seed to grow. Number three, still others hear and remember the teachings of Christ. That's what we hear in the church. But later, other interests came, come, and choke up these teachings and destroy them before they can result in Christian living. So we lose them. We lose them. We like, we like to listen to Christ's words in church. We respond with joy to, to them. Like in the church, Lord have mercy. We repeat hundreds of times. We feel, but once we leave the church and go back to our daily living, the thorns come and choke up all our good intentions. Number four, finally and fourthly, there are those who listen to the Lord's teachings about loving one another, about forgiving, helping, praying, and caring, and then they go and do those things they have learned about from Christ. These people represent the good soil, where the seed fell, took root, grew, and brought forth abundant fruit. So, thanks to God, dear brothers and sisters, that uh, there still are those who respond in this way to the living words of our Lord. St. James, 
St. James, the writer of one of the epistles in the New Testament, sums up the whole idea <coughs> in this way. Be doers of the word and not hearers only. <coughs> So, what we hear in the Gospel, dear brothers and sisters in the church, it would be good when we leave the church, it would be good to at least do something to practice, to practice in our life. So, now it remains for us to be the good soil wherein this Christian seed will take root, where it will grow and where it will bring forth fruit and Christian living. And I would like to repeat at the end uh, the same words that I just repeated before. May we all be doers doers of the word of God and not hearers only. Thank you very much for your attention. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen.